Good morning, YouTube. I've got a goodie for you today. Back with another edition of Rate My Rhine. And this guy wrote me a five paragraph essay, MLA formats, proofread, checklisted, college professor, pro hello? Professor? Read over it, had a story, a hook, a, uh, this, this thing tugged at the heartstrings. So I decided to give it a look. And it was, well, You'll see. If you enjoy the video, make sure you have a like, comment, share with a friend. We launched this series a couple weeks ago, but we've only done a few editions of it. So if you guys want to do more Rate My Ryan or see more Rate My Ryan, let me know in the comments. And if you want to be a part of it, make sure you join my Discord. Follow the right instructions that are there. Submit your entries there. And uh, I'll take a look at it. So, and as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. We're almost to 130k subs. We're like about halfway between 120 and 130. So, hitting that sub button would help me a ton. Appreciate you guys as always, and I will catch you again tomorrow. <laughs> this is funny as sh Okay, you know what? You know what? Honestly, just on fing willpower, I'm gonna do this one. I want to tell you a story about a boy who posted in the first Rape My Rhine code channel code. Once upon a time, a boy named Gabbert10 noticed something curious in the Flats Discord, a channel named hashtag Rape My Rhine Codes. He f investigated further to find out that Flats has a new series and any Rhines can post. This would be a perfect opportunity for Flats to rate the boy's Rhine. But alas, there was a problem. How could he stand out from the crowd? Then the boy noticed something in the channel. No one had posted in the channel. This is the boy's perfect chance. It was first, if he was first, Flats would have to pick him. But he had to hurry. Quickly, he found a game that got him into Diamond and brainstormed a message to accompany it. All the pieces were in place. Message, replay code, his Overwatch profile, all important, wait, and most important of them all, being the first poster in the channel. The boy thought it, he couldn't fail. That was foolproof. So he waited for the stream to start, heart beating quickly, not knowing about what was to come. The sound of EDM starts playing. The boy's cue. He runs over to his computer and sees Flats' stream playing. Flats has been talking to his loving audience about he, how Emong sent him squirrels. Dude, I, I know exactly. That was the story I talked about that day. Emong was sending me just pictures of, like, not pictures, like, the squirrel emoji over and over, without context. A hilarious joke for the ages. About an hour passes and Flats begins to look at codes. Flats notices a boy's code. How could he not? It was the first one. He talks about the boy's rank and then says, those faithful words, I'll put the first guy on the pole. The boy's heart skips a beat. He was so close to victory, he just needed to win the hearts of the machine that is chat. However, as Flats went down the list, the boy realized, released, wait, realized he had stiff competition, a furry and a vengeful girlfriend. The boy was waiting for the poll so all his friends could vote, but then disaster struck. Flats said something that made the boy's heart stop. Take the first guy on the poll. <laughs> Denial, anchor, bargaining, depression, all felt in unison, but never acceptance. This wasn't going to be the boy's fate <laughs> to be blue all my life. No one could put his feelings into text and try again. So the boy would never yield like his character. He and his favorite streamer love. That <laughs> that boy is me, Flats. So will you rate my Rhine? Reupload with new code. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Holy sh**. Alright, dude. Okay. That sounds good to me. Alright, dude. I can't believe he said that he had his friends voting in that poll. That's so funny. I know who you watch. Now there's a problem though. I don't actually fire strike the left door that often. I typically fire strike the right door. The right door is the sleeper door. If you if the left door, and I picked this up from Emong. Emong always stands on the left door. I don't know why he always does it. And most D.Va players stand on the left door. So I always send it at the right door. Just, just stupid little things. Another good fire strike. Okay. Now you're gonna go for the third one. Do you know my third spot? Are you gonna go for my third spot? Nope, you didn't. Doesn't know my third spot. I have three spots I go for in the beginning of the game. 
Okay, not bad so far. Kind of being a baby back bitch. Okay, now you're getting aggressive. Okay, I like it. I like it. Uh, oh yeah, you don't have a, okay. You don't have a Lucio. Okay, uh, I'll give you those points back. Um, yeah, you're kind of in trouble. I honestly would have given more space than what you were given because you're probably gonna die soon. Yeah, a little too late to give up that much space. Unfortunately, unfortunately they don't punish you. Unfortunately, they don't punish you. A little late though. Yo, this Zarya is just walking on your team. Why are you, why are you letting that happen? You just let that Zarya walk in your back line, just roll your fucking torb. Yeah, you're dead. You're, it doesn't matter if you're nano. You're still dead. Listen, yo, listen to me. You watch me. I can tell, kind of, in the beginning. I honestly, I don't know about the middle part, but here's the thing. You have to make a decision. You're trying to do everything at once and you end up getting locked up and doing nothing. You don't try to kill the Zarya. You don't try to deny space. You don't try to back off and play to live. Nothing. Right now, you're kind of just useless. You're okay. Now you're turning into a feeder. Unless you're going to go Winston and you were just trying to die. I think you're turning into a bit of a feeder. And okay. So you're turning into a bit of a feeder here, Gabbard. How do you turn off the feed? Well, here's the thing. You should have taken high ground. See, look where they are now. Now they control high ground. So you got to rotate to the right here and go take it back. Yup. Okay. Off this, this, this elevator. Did you just shake your head yes at me? Um, the fuck? Now I'm freaked out. Okay. So you took this high ground back. Now, how, how do you know how to use it? Well, you're kind of just walking off into no man's land. You don't really know how to use it right now. How would you actually use it? Well, that's for you to decide whether which way you wanted to go. Which way you're supposed to go? No, really though, right now, like, good slam. Pin him. Um, you, you gotta, you gotta just make a decision faster. The only time you've made a decision so far is when you get slammed. Did he pursue the fair off the high ground? Yeah, and I'm, and I'm okay with that decision. I'm actually okay with that decision. I will do that. I have pinned a fair out of the sky before. Sometimes you just gotta risk it for the biscuit and send it. Honestly, I, that was probably one of his best things. Oh, dude, I feel like he's answering me. Have you guys noticed that? Like, dude, this is a replay code. How are you answering me? Um, is that Zarya? I should just use her. Yeah, yeah there you go. Make, make decisions. Listen. We play a little better now. And to be honest with you, I'd rather have saw you on high ground. Playing low ground is not really, like, you know, your spot, your forte, your best, you know, play. Um, but, like, this is respectable right now. Yo, just kill that Hanzo. Don't be afraid. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've got good... You've got the good intentions here, you know? But the problem is, is they're running Farah and they're playing a high ground comp, and you're playing low ground Larry. So, like, yeah, you're, you're actually kind of doing well here. Ooh. Okay, I don't know how you're gonna make use of that. Good shield, uh, shield flick to. Yo, turn your, sh yo, turn your, yo, bro, wow, 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 wow. Why are you not turning your fucking camera to extend your swings? Why are you being, whoa, 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 whoa. You could have absolutely hit her once, or you could absolutely would have hit her once in there. You and you're not, you're not even trying to like turn the camera to the side to get the longer swings. What are you doing? Also, your fire strike accuracy has been kind of abysmal, but I've been overlooking it so far. Like, I at least want you getting close to targets. Like, that that's a good fire strike. That's a good guess. That's a good guess strike. But do you see the problem, though? You're letting them just hold high ground. You're letting them hold, take high ground in exchange for holding cart, and that's just a bad idea. Well, this is you're in for a bad time. Honestly, that's just diamond. They just didn't. They just didn't care. They let you go. You letting them take high ground and win the fight because you don't want them to push the cart. That's a bad Overwatch mentality. That's not how the game is played. You honestly, at this point, is so strong that if you even let you put them push all the way to the end, you could let them push all the way to the end of second. 
as long as you hold high ground and not lose the fights, you can hold it for 10 minutes. You can hold this for 10 minutes. Pin him. I know he got bubble, but that's okay. That's fine. That was a, that was the trade you have to try. You have to try a play there. So you know what? That's good. You have to try to make a play. Low diamond? Yes, I believe so. You, you lost that fight. So the reason you've lost this fight is because you you, you let them push. You let, let them push because they won the fight. If they had pushed the went for cart and you held high ground and won the fights, it didn't matter if they pushed it all the way to the end. You would have won the game. But instead, you tried to play for cart push over positioning and winning fights. Bad decisions. It's the, it's the same old plat gold, you know, mentality. Don't let him push the cart. Don't let him push the cart. Listen, that's why it's always so funny you see in Overwatch League, like, C9s and shit. Or people like they don't touch the cart or whatever because they just they are focused on winning the fight Winning the fight is how you win. Yeah, like there's stupid times where they end up forgetting to touch or something like that And it's a haha -ha, funny c9, but there's a reason it's it's this they don't play touch the cart simulator So you're in a really bad spot here really bad Remember third this see you're gonna do it again third point third point is all about the last fight you are, you're already in last fight territory. If you lose a fight here at that corner, you're gonna lose the game. So why not let them push it further and make them fight harder? Now you can, now, now that you won the fight, you can hold a little bit further aggressive, but don't be afraid to give up space. You see that choke back there? That's where you're going. That's where you wanna be. Okay, Gabbard, that was just, that, dude, what? Dude, you cannot, you cannot tell me you cannot tell me you're you're ready for diamond, and you make f***ing Papega plays like this. You just you're you don't even know what you're doing. You're just mindlessly walking around and swinging at things. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was literally dumb. I'm sorry. That's just there's nothing else to say there. Just don't do that. Like, it, listen, okay. Honestly, this one, this rate my Ryan and the last one, honestly, are much less roasty, much more just talking. Because honestly, I'm kind of out of energy to yell at you guys right now. I'm going to be honest, after doing the first couple, I'm kind of just out of it. So it's more helpful than normal. But listen, dude, like, it's. I know it's fun to go swing hammer and make things go die, but. Running all the way out here just ain't the play. Go kill Azaria, dude. What are you doing? Why are you just. Yo, yo, Gabbard, why are you being a baby bag? all of a sudden I know I like that you at least constantly are swinging you know kind of like I do but I won't talk about it I won't talk about it but your fire strike accuracy is fucking miserable it's miserably bad like please <sighs> pretty decent i mean it's the same thing as the bronze guy earlier has has you know has positive qualities you know that they have learned and picked up from people that are better than them right and a lot of people that watch a lot of streams and watch a lot of stuff have those qualities ghosted fart appreciate it, the prime dude um great name by the way but the problem is they just don't know how to implement it all the time. His DPS was like silver though, so it makes sense. I mean, my DPS was like low diamond for a long time. And I had extremely high accuracy on my fire strikes. So I wouldn't say that. It's much more... Fire strikes are much more predictive than aim. You, yo, there's... So where is your brain during this right here? Where's your brain? Do you, do you, do you not just hear him fucking two feet away? Just put down the trap and just. Ready for battle. Giving on an all charge? No, no, stop, 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 stop. If you're one of those people 
who says dumb shit like that like when when you make something stupid like oh, i was giving them all charge no you're just dumb i'm sorry Anna does not need you to feed their junk rat alt charge to get you ult. The reason supports get their ult first is because of tanks existing versus other tanks and taking how much so much damage. You don't need to sit there and give one of their best ults that they could have more ult charge. To be honest with you, that answer is the same reason why it's so tough to tell people they suck at this game, because there's always technically an answer for anything. Right, like, like if you're like, dude, what are you doing? It's like, well, I was trying to push in, play aggressive. If they sit back, like, well, they were playing, they, they we were, we, we were too low, like we couldn't push. Uh, oh, I, 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 uh, I was trying to give ult charge. Like, there's, like, there's always an answer for anything that happens in this game. It doesn't mean it's the correct answer. or not that's actually an answer a lot of people will give that's the point where the fuck are you going What am I watching right now? Your dude, your fire strike accuracy is pissing me off at this point. Like you, you have, you literally have the mechanical skill on fire strikes of a fucking walnut. By the way, that junk tire looking real juicy right now on their team. By the way, they, they fucking, their junk tire beat your Ana to nano. Just throwing that out there out of the way. Just putting that out there. Oh, here it comes. And that, my friends, if your ever answer is to the question, I was just giving our Ana ult charge the reason why. You don't give certain characters ult charge. Like walking out of spawn and walking into a Junkrat trap and be like, I was trying to give ult charge. No. No, you weren't. You just suck. We're not paying attention. Oh, do I have some, do I have some walnuts in chat? My bad. I did not mean to, I didn't mean to offend any walnuts in chat. My bad. Pin him, pin him, pin him, pin him, pin him. Oh, lovely. Oh. Thank, you. Thank you for at least recognizing that play. Ah, uh, dude, I, honestly, my my eyes lit up. I was like, dude, that's free. Shatter him. Second too late, could have got the on him too. Second too late. The second you see the nano, the nano come out, you go boom, just hit it. Because then you kill the Ana and then pin the Zarya and you win that fight. There's a step too late, too much hesitation. This close, this fucking close. Your HP bar is literally the Tower of Terror at Six Flags. Think about that. You know why? So, this is where I'm going to direct you to my previous video. Where we we watched a silver DPS player named Sabina. Who did not understand why you were supposed to go high ground on hit scan. Now, what you don't understand is that walking in a straight line down the middle only works if you full commit onto a single target that can't get away that being Zarya you have to hard commit and kill her if you don't you lose so here's your other option you go high ground 
and then waterfall out on the Zarya. That was the only chance you had of killing her was your last fight. She got nanoed. You fucked up your shatter. It was a little too slow. And that was your chance. Now, to be honest with you, their Zarya just fucked up really badly. That was the first fight they didn't play that the same way they'd been. But I hate... Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Sometimes people go like, but it worked though. But like, you shouldn't... You shouldn't base your play off of the enemy team making mistakes and doing dumb shit. You should be actively doing things to help you win, not waiting for them to fucking suck. Chasing Lucio is fine though. Someone's gotta get him off point, but you, there's a, at some point you have to realize you have to stop. Wait a minute, what? Are we gonna have to call Aquamarine again? Oh, he swapped? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. He swapped. I'm taking the All right, here's your problem there, Gabbert. Honestly, that last fight sucked for you. Like, real talk. Like, uh, you, you actually didn't play that too badly, that last fight. That's kind of a little bit more unlucky than normal. Um... There's a couple things you could have done better, like different target priority and like realizing once they were going to go for the retake. I'm not going to talk about it. Going for the retake and like you could have like disengaged a little bit and tried to help your back line. But that's not the that's not the important stuff. The important stuff is you spent three minutes running it down main at their team and dying. Like it's just stupid. It's brain dead. Like like it shouldn't take you four minutes to realize that doing the same thing over and 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 over. And over and it doesn't work is is not how you win like you have to try different you have to understand that if their zarya is constantly playing in this area and then backing away when you walk in you're not getting to her so you're gonna go up top take this positioning away and then if you think about it what's closer okay what's what if you had to get towards car let's say she, she fell back to car what's closer this or this What's closer? Your mechanical skill is fucking abysmal. Uh, as a tank player, no, no offense, sorry, just it's just not good. So if you ever want to get better, one, that needs to be fixed. Second, if you ever really want to get better, you have to understand that your pathing needs to be a billion times better than where it is. Because right now you just run it down main and just fucking hope for the best, and that's just dumb. So. I'm sorry, I have to give you like a 6 out of 10. But hopefully, at least you understand why the things you did were not good. Also, this really wasn't any more of like more rate my run. It was more just like trying to help you a little bit. But either way, uh, yeah, pretty much. Let me be honest with you, dude. You just got to be very, uh, very knowledgeable of the situations you're in. And if they don't have a Ryan for you to, to walk on and swing on, they're playing something like double bubble and they're playing more spread, you're much more trying to punish the bad positioning, force good openings on your team, and have better pathing to open up those opportunities. Because just walking in down main ain't doing it for you.